Welcome back, you beautiful people. Today I'm going to talk about tech because us mountain bikers, we're so used to following directions of our bike's GPS. But with so many smartwatches and bike computers integrating fitness and training functions, what would happen if you were to follow your bike computer or your smartwatch's directions on when to go for a ride, how hard, how fast, when to take it easy, and when to not ride at all? So what would happen, right, if I were to follow what this thing is suggesting for six weeks? Well, if you're anything like me, okay, there's no planned structure to my riding. I just head out there and I have an absolute hoot and just have a blast. But are these clever little gadgets really that clever that they can make me get fitter? But more to the point, okay, can I actually stick to what they are really saying? There's only one way to find out. Let's actually get my bike, click start, and start this whole process to see if I can. And get fitter. I'm ready for it. Six weeks. Let's go. I'm using Garmin's suggested daily workout features, which you can get on a selection of their GPS watches and bike computers. That should take the guesswork out of what I should be doing each day to make me fitter. Garmin says that every day it will suggest the best workout, rest or recovery based on loads of data. My training history, my fitness level, my 24 seven heart rate, sleep, stress and recovery, and plenty more. The watch can be used for running by itself, but to get the system working for riding, it will need a GPS head unit and a compatible power meter. So I'll be using the Garmin Rally power meter pedals as well. <sighs> but it's telling me to go for a ride right now, which I'll explain in a minute. Right, see ya. Right, it's my first ride of the six week challenge and I'm ready for it, I'm stoked, I'm feeling good. But already my watch has been analyzing all my historical data in the background to come up with my first daily suggestion. But what I did have to do is go for two rides on my new Garmin Rally pedals just to activate the, the suggestions because without that number and those uh, digits, it wouldn't be able to kind of start this whole process. So I've done that I'm in my local woods and I'm gonna go for a shred and it's saying 50 minutes at 205 watts. So it's a bit damp today, so it might be a bit muddy. Right, let's crack on. <laughs> that was 56 minutes. My uh, average watts, 206 watts. Look at that. And 56 minutes. There you go. 11 kilometers around my local woods. First ride feels so good. But the cadence thing kept popping up. Maximum cadence, slow down, slow down. I think that's just Garmin telling me to just take a chill pill because it's your base ride. You don't want to just go hammer for the first one. Next one, well, it does say rest for 20 hours, which I've been reading a bit. And it says, if you have a good night's sleep, that will speed up your recovery. Next ride. Second ride of this whole thing. I'm feeling really good. Day two, ride. It's suggesting another base ride, but this time for an hour, but again at 205 watts. So I'm gonna come to my local woods again, and I'm gonna go and send it for an hour. The weather, again, misty. It doesn't matter. We're out here, so I'm gonna continue. Number two run, done. Let me pick you up. Okay, I've done an hour, one minute. One minute over, come on. You, you can't penalize me for going one minute, look. 11.8 kilometers, one hour, one minute. Total ascending, it's not very big over here, so I did 263. Ooh, it's saying after my second ride, 43 hours of recovery, maybe because I went too hard. <laughs> like I always do, always. Average watts, oh, it was 197. I need to up that. Ooh, I'm using 73% of my right foot than my left. My left is 22%. This is actually quite interesting. 
As you probably know, I don't normally do training. I just ride my bike and have some fun and also get to ride for my day job presenting on GMBN for you beautiful people, which is super fun. But I do like to be fit and feeling good. So to find out if what my watch tells me to do would make me any fitter, I did a fitness test just before I started, which showed my FTP test as 225. I'm gonna do another one at the end to compare my results to find that out. All right, day three is a very crisp morning. Look how blue the sky is, look at it. It's very early in the morning and uh, I'm gonna be sitting in an office, so I thought, I'm gonna go for a ride. So I turned my Garmin on, uh, my head unit, and it's saying a rest day. Look at that. Rest day, but it says if you go for a ride, keep it short at a low intensity. Which sounds good to me. So I am gonna go for a, a 50 minute ride. I'm gonna go do some canal bashing. Let's go ride it. Each suggested workout I do should improve a particular part of my fitness, helping me take the guesswork out of things. I was already finding out that my watch was telling me to do different things each day, which was helping to keep things varied and interesting. Some days it was about building my endurance base or aimed at my recovery. Others it was all about doing harder sessions, really pushing my anaerobic capabilities. And some others were tougher, like much tougher like really high intensity interval sessions where I was going absolute full gas. One thing I was finding really helpful was that my head unit gave me real time direction during my sessions. If I was going too easy, it would tell me to step it up. If I was going too hard, it would tell me to bring it down a notch. <sighs> when I said chill, that means I can talk to the camera. Look at this beautiful spot, the canals, man. Incredible, fresh, apart from my jacket. My jacket is not fresh. Still muddy from ride number two. Oh, it's actually really good to get out before getting into the office. No, well, I don't, you know, I'm not an office kind of guy. Oh, I just, I can't get enough of this canal, but look at it. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some miles in, get some time on. I'll meet you back at the house. All right, I'm back. So I've done 30 minutes. I did 10.8 kilometers. Uh, my average speed was 20 kilometers an hour, max was 45. Oh. And then it said uh, to rest for 29 hours, which is actually good because I started first thing in the morning. I'm gonna be in the office and then, well, tomorrow I potentially go for a ride, but my schedule from now onwards is gonna be hectic, like hectic. I'm gonna be going to Scotland twice. I'm gonna be racing a, a big EWS race on a hardtail, and then I'm going to Spain. And it's going to be very hectic. So yeah, let's move on to the hecticness. Okay, today's suggestion says to go out for a ride for one hour. I've been filming all day. I'm out here in Scotland at Glen Tress. I'm out here actually to race the EWS 100 on this hardtail. So that is a hell of a challenge that I've put myself into, which I kind of think is gonna like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna document it all, but it probably tell me to rest for a whole week after this, which I'm actually looking forward to, but it's not gonna stop me. Today's ride is one hour base ride. So I'm gonna go all the way to the top of this mountain right behind me over there. Oh, let's get it. <laughs> I'm halfway up. I've just come from all the way of the bottom of that valley. It's uh, it's pretty hilly, so sticking to the same wattage for me was is quite tough because I just put down the power and just get up. But I just need to slow down. First week is uh, learning how to slow down because I just put in the power and just go for hell for leather. Right, let's get back down. Right, finished the ride. It took me an hour and 15 to go all the way to the top and come back. Now I've put the stuff in, I've got undressed and completed my ride and it says, nice job. Looks like tomorrow will be a rest day. Consider taking the day off of recovery from this effort. There you go, see that? That's actually really good. 
So it actually paid for me to push harder today because then tomorrow I rest. The next day after that is practice for the big race and then Saturday is race day. So uh, I'm gonna enjoy that rest because I've been uh, riding for quite a lot. So thank you very much, Garmin. <laughs> Okay, it's practice day at this event that I'm doing, Tweed Love EWS 100. And uh, my Garmin is, uh, it said this morning when I woke up, you had a well-rested sleep, but take it easy. And uh, my base today is go for a ride for one, one hour. I'm not going for one hour, I'm going for all day practice. So uh, we'll see, it might tell me to rest tomorrow, but hey, I'm racing tomorrow. So <laughs> I might be resting all week after this, all week, which would be nice. Right, let's go get practice in. It's race day and my watch is still telling me to rest because last night I didn't really have a good night's sleep. I was a bit stressed for this big day, but hey ho, let's press start and go for a big ride. After a grueling day on my hardtail race in the EWS 100, my watch is saying six days of rest. Okay, so I've done it. It's a couple of days after I've done the EWS on my hardtail. I feel like I need a rest more, but because I've been sleeping so well, my watch has uh, sped up my recovery and is saying today, suggestion, base workout for an hour. An hour, that's not too bad. And it says chill, so I'm gonna take a chill pill, but I know I'm not gonna take a chill pill. So I'm gonna go for a quick one hour ride and I'll be back. Halfway done. I'm nearly into town, so I'm gonna grab a coffee, chill a little bit, and then ride back. And that will be my hour done. Easy. Done. Ride, it took me an hour and 34 minutes, but I stopped for a coffee, so my moving time was, it was around an hour, but uh, I pushed a little bit too hard, which I always do. I need to try and slow down. That's what it's telling me to do. Take a chill pill, Blake, but it's not, I, I don't. I, I can't chill. My rest time now is 10 hours, which I guess that would be overnight. If I have a good night's sleep, that means I can go for another ride tomorrow. Oh, we'll see what it says. We'll see. That was a good day. Right, next day. After a couple of days at home, it was time to hit the road again. This time to sunny Spain for a big week of shooting videos with the team. So today was an epic ride uh, out here in Spain with Iago Garay and the crew. And McGarmin has now just said, I am acclimatized to 850 meters. It says keep on track. And it says to rest for another three days, which I can't do because I'm still out here for another two days. So we'll carry on. Two days later, it was time to head home to take a well-earned rest. Something a bit different today, no bike. Going for a run because my bike's in for a service, so still need to keep on track on what my watch is telling me to do. Done. Took me 34 minutes and 51 seconds, uh, three, uh, 3.66 miles. But the good thing about going for a run, right, on the bike or off the bike, you're still feeding the Garmin Connect, which is a good thing because that ecosystem thrives on numbers. The more you feed it, the better um, suggestions you will get for the previous days. My pace was um, a lot quicker than what I suggested. My pace was like nine minutes 55. I did it in nine minutes 32, which is a little bit faster, but hey, it doesn't matter. And it says, uh, check in tomorrow to see your next suggestion. So I'm gonna go and do that. We'll see what it says tomorrow. Right, let's go home. Okay, right. 
because the clocks have gone back. Anyway, we've lost an hour of daylight in the day. So before I head out there to create some beautiful content for you beautiful people, I'm gonna go and sit on here for a base ride for an hour. I'm gonna be, I'm using uh, Swift for this tax trainer down there. And that's linked me up with power, cadence, and all the necessary things that I need to uh, fulfill my little training regime or what my watch tells me to do. Three, two, one, let's go for a ride. Oh, all right, I'm done. That was an hour, good effort. Now I need to go and get dressed and go. I've warmed down. Let's see what my watch says for the next day. So yeah. Right at the beginning of my six week challenge, I did an FTP test, and that was at 225 watts over a 20 minute period. Now let's see what today's FTP result's gonna be. Oh, it's exciting. Right, this is it, the end of a, a long stint, a six week stint of letting my watch tell me what to do. I'm gonna do an FTP test on uh, Zwift and it just goes hard as I possibly can to see if my fitness has gone through the roof and my power has increased as well. I'm gonna warm up. You, you might see some sick coming out of my nostrils and mouth. And, right, let's get warmed up. I'm predicting a 240, I hope. These whole six weeks has been a learning curve on listening to my own self, slowing it down, working towards a better goal, a better fitness. In 10 seconds, I gotta push for 20 seconds at 210 watts, 20 seconds. It's not really that hard. It's just a warm up. But all of this is before the 20 minutes. beat my time. That would be ridiculous. Dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've never pushed so hard like that before. That's ridiculous. <coughs> Remind me never to do one of those ever again. Even if GCN ask, they can use this footage. Right, results time. Right at the end of this whole six week extravaganza. Now I did an FTP test, like I said, right at the beginning, and I got 225 watts over 20 minutes. I've just done another one. I felt super ill after it because I, I pushed because I felt good in myself. The results are from that whole thing. Ha, huh, drum roll. 233 watts, hey? That's an eight watt increase over a six week period of listening to my watch. Occasionally, sometimes it told me to rest, I couldn't. I struggled there, but hey, I'm creating content for you beautiful people. Hopefully this has given you a little bit more insight, a little bit more knowledge of what technology can do to help improve your fitness on your bike. You don't have to train for an event. You can just go and improve your fitness and your health and your well-being just with the technology on your wrist. Now that is incredible. Thank you very much for watching this and um, I'm done in from that. 
I think I need a cup of tea, some sugary biscuits, and I'm done. Nick, do you want a cup of tea? Love one. Do you want a biscuit? Yeah, tea. All right, see ya.